It is the 27th of March, 2012, at the time of recording. Let us begin. So I came home this week, as you can probably tell by the surroundings behind me. And one of the things I did whilst I was on the train was I began reading this. It's George Orwell's 1984, and it's basically a book that goes on about a dystopian future where Big Brother is looming over everything. Where is the relevance to this for the music of the week? Well, I went shopping with my dad the other day, and one of the things that my dad has to do when he goes shopping is buy cigarettes for my mum. Something I wasn't aware of, because I don't smoke, is that recently laws have been passed whereby you can no longer display cigarettes to the public. They have to be sort of shuttered off behind cupboards and things. And my music of the week is more going to be sort of an extended one, in that from this point onwards I want you guys to look out for signs of life not signs of life in like the deep sea, but signs of life that are getting more dystopian as time goes on. Because the first thing that I thought when I saw this was, wow, this is this is starting to get scarily Orwellian. Before we know it, we'll have pictures of David Cameron up on the walls going, I'm watching you. And it's funnier to say there's been bugger all in the news, but there's actually been loads in the news. I mean, just this morning there was something about stamps, so I'm going to have to stock up on those. But the thing that I thought that I would go on about is, well, it's two news items, really. Uh, first one's the alcohol upping tax. Um, basically, in England, not certain about Scotland yet, but certainly in England, there are plans being rushed through, and rushed is definitely the operative word here, whereby alcohol pricing would be dependent on the volume. So stuff like white lightning would cost you a lot more money, and basically they would go out of business, because it's crap. Um, there have been various commentaries, like, you know, it would be detrimental to student life, and all the rest of it, and it's not actually helping anyone. The obvious thing as well is that it's covering up the granny tax. If you want to find out more about that, then go onto the news and blah blah blah, because I've got, to, I've got to be honest, it's sort of working in that I've not been paying attention to the granny tax as much as I should be, because it is such a blatant smokescreen. The other thing which reaffirmed my belief that George Osborne was born without a brain was the pasty tax. It's almost as if they're trying to cover up all the bad stuff with just crazy random shit. It really is. Um, basically, the pasty tax, for those of you who don't know, if you are Greggs, or Greenhalls, or JG Rosses, or whatever, and you want to serve something hot, that is subject to tax. If you serve it cold, no tax. But if it's hot, taxed. It's a heat tax. It's just one of those things that, oh, faith in the human race rapidly diminishing. And my internet piece of the week thus far is a piece from the Daily Record. I know this is a lot of news and I apologise, but it's, it's something that I think should go more viral than it has done. It's a headline from the Daily Record, and it reads, and I'll do this off my laptop because I can't remember off the top of my head, and I, you want this reproduced accurately, so I'll... <clears throat> I kicked burning terrorists so hard in balls that I tore a tendon. Hero to us all, I think you'll agree. There'll be links below to all the various bits and pieces that I have referenced today, and there'll be one as well on... Um, a Kent MP who said, if gays marry, will Shakespeare be in danger? I wanted to talk about it, but I thought I'd limit myself to one news item. So go and check that out as well, because it's another one of those things that just makes you lose faith in the human race. It really is. Anyway, hope to see you soon. Tough watching.